Hey everybody, I hope you guys are all healthy and safe. So first of all, I know what you're wondering. These two red bumps on my nose, I don't know what happened. I thought they were pimples at first, but I think I got bit by a, a bug overnight. And considering how bad they look, I don't think it's just a mosquito. It's probably like a spider or something. Um, unfortunately, I don't have superpowers, but yeah, I'm a little bit concerned this is gonna leave permanent scarring too. But anyway, the footage you're watching right now is shot with the iPhone SE. So if you are familiar with my channel or if you've watched many other YouTubers, you may have heard us say that the iPhone is the best smartphone for video recording. Like Android phones, they might have really good still cameras for photos, but in terms of videos, it's still the iPhone is the king of recording videos. The iPhone video is so good, in fact, that I use it sometimes to shoot my videos like some of my videos you can see i'm shooting with an iphone and it's not just me even big time youtubers like mr mobile i know he uses an iphone sometimes for some of his b-roll footage too that's how good the iphone camera is but unfortunately one of the weaknesses of shooting videos with the iphone camera is audio quality like right now i'm using just the built-in mic of the iphone sc you might still be able to hear me fine because i'm standing pretty close to the phone but if i step back just a little bit then audio quality should sound kind of you know a little bit distant now if i stand further back it's going to sound pretty bad you might not be able to hear me that well right now and if there are background noises like if somebody's like talking right here they might get in the way and completely drown me out so that's one of the weaknesses of shooting with an iphone and in the past i've plugged in a lav mic but a lav mic only goes about this far so ultimately there's just not much you can do unless you go with the wireless solution and i have a really good one right here so let me grab the box this is called the boom xd it's from a brand named comica it's a chinese brand based in senzhen and see you should be able to hear right now the helicopter sound above and just how poor the audio quality is right now but basically the comica boom xd you simply plug this into the end of the iphone and then this will transmit audio to here wirelessly and this clips onto my shirt there's a mic right here but there's also an additional output for you to plug in a lav mic so if you don't want to have this by your neck i can put this in my pocket and have a lav mic that connects to here but let me show you how it works it's really simple dead simple you just plug this in turn this on and the sound automatically transmits wirelessly so i'm just gonna plug this on right now And then now I'm gonna turn this on. So it should be working right now. I think you're already getting sound from here. So I just have to clip this into my shirt. Hello, testing, testing. Do I sound better? And now I can stand really far back and you can still hear me clearly, right? Testing, testing, testing the audio. One, two, three. One, two, three, testing, testing. Testing, 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 testing. So you should still be able to hear me right now even though I'm like, 30 feet away so comica says the max range for this is about 50 meters which is pretty far i'm pretty sure i can go you know another 20 feet and you'll still be able to hear me so this is a really simple solution and this whole set right here costs about 185 bucks um depending on who you are you might think 185 bucks is expensive but if you're a professional videographer or if you're someone who's making youtube videos on a semi-professional level and you want to shoot your iphone 185 bucks for this is a really damn good deal actually because um there's a much bigger brand named road they also have a similar wireless mic and that mic is 280 dollars. so this is a hundred dollars cheaper and on top of that one benefit of this comica boom xd is you can pair two of these to one receiver so if i have a friend who wants to be on video i just have to get another receiver put it onto the friend and he or she and I can speak and you can pick up the sound whereas with the uh, Rode Wireless Go, every transmitter only works with one receiver. So if two people want to use Rode Wireless Go, they will have to buy two whole sets. That's $500. Now one other weakness of shooting with an iPhone is that the iPhone's main camera has a pretty narrow field of vision. So as you can see right now, I'm pretty sure my head is a little bit too close to comfort for framing. If you are shooting, again, semi-professional videos, you probably want something a little bit wider so you can fit more things into the frame. And just when you have a wider field of vision, it looks 
a lot more cinematic. And even the new iPhone 11s have a wide-angle camera, the quality on the wide-angle camera isn't the best. It's fine during the day, but if you're shooting at night, you can see a major drop-off in quality. So what I use is, I use a moment lens. So again, if you watch YouTube regularly, you might have heard of moments before. They are based in the US and they sell snap-on camera lenses for smartphones. Now these, you know, snap-on lens for smartphones are a dime a dozen in if you go on Amazon there are a lot of different brands that sell these and you can probably find them at many stores too and they're usually pretty cheap like 20 bucks but those are kind of weak quality the moment lens they are really nice quality but the catch is these are expensive like this lens alone it's 100 US and you have to buy a special case to snap this on which I've already have on on the iPhone SC but really once you snap it on You just twist and then now we should have a now we should have a much wider field of vision right this is a little bit more of a cinematic look right okay so far I've been shooting on a tripod and obviously when you shoot on a tripod you know the camera stays stills but then you can't really move it around that easily unless you lift the whole tripod and if you shoot handheld with an iPhone as good as the stabilization is it's still not perfect if you run or if you walk really fast you're still gonna get a little bit of jitteriness and a little bit of bobbing up and down so to get around that I use a gimbal this one specifically the DJI Osmo mobile so now there are a lot of gimbals out there on the market but most of them cannot support an iPhone with a moment lens because when you add a moment lens onto the iPhone, it makes this end of the phone a little bit too heavy. So a lot of gimbals, because it's hard to explain without having the other gimbals on hand, but when you clamp the phone onto other gimbals, you have to keep the phone center like this, and then this end is just a little bit too heavy and the gimbal cannot support. The special design of DJI Osmo Mobile allows me to push the phone further in. Yeah, it sounds pretty simple, but most gimbals does not offer this option. So all I have to do is do this, and then now this is going to balance properly because I'm able to push the phone a little bit further in so the weight is not too heavy on one side. So now with the moment lens on, on a DJI Osmo Mo Mobile, and then if I plug in the Comica Boom XD here, I'll be able to capture high quality video and audio with good stabilization. Okay, so let's test it out. It's a beautiful day out in Hong Kong today, except it's a little bit hot. Okay, I'm gonna run back. So this is the setup I use when I need to shoot videos with an iPhone and I want quality to be a little bit better than usual. I use a moment lens for wide angle footage and I plug in a Comica Boom XD to get better audio. Right now this camera doesn't have the Boom XD, that's why the audio might not be that good. The Boom XD is on this phone, but let me plug the Boom XD back into the main camera. That's Okay, so the Comica Boom XD is plugged back into here, so the audio quality should have just improved by quite a lot. So I used the Boom XD, the Moment Lens, and the DJI Osmo Mobile, and I'm able to get smooth and, you know, more professional looking videos. And if you're an aspiring YouTuber, you don't want to invest $2,000 in a proper camera, you might want to look into this setup. It's not that expensive in my opinion. The Boom XD is $175, this Moment Lens is $100, you have to buy the case is $30 so that's $130 so so far that's about so so far that's about $300 and then this DJI Osmo Mobile it's about $80 bucks. so that's about $400 well plus the cost of the iPhone but just 
that much will get you started if you are an aspiring YouTuber or you know if you're like a dad who wants to shoot videos of your baby or your dog that looks a little bit better than traditional handheld video anyway so that's about it for this video I'm gonna have more videos coming up including on the Huawei P40 Pro Plus and on the Huawei MateBook X Pro 2020 so if you're interested in keeping up with all the latest tech especially from China please subscribe to my channel and uh, I really hope these two red bumps heal because they look pretty bad thanks for watching